Hi, my name is Glenn Gross, and I'm the owner of Safeway Electric. And welcome to my training room. And I get calls throughout the week uh, from customers unable to uh, reset their circuit breaker. And so I would like to use this video and this opportunity uh, to show you how to safely reset a circuit breaker. So in previous videos I've showed you if there's a short on the circuit the possible outcome that can happen when resetting a circuit breaker. On this uh, particular uh, circuit breaker that has tripped it has tripped because of an overload condition and we're going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and confirm for sure that there's no short on this circuit before uh, resetting the circuit breaker because when there was an overload there's a chance that maybe it heated up some wires and caused uh, some melting together and uh, so let's go ahead and confirm that we have no short on the circuit so what we want to do is use our multimeter and we want to put it uh, so we can pick up a tone and check continuity okay and so let's make sure that our test leads are good we'll go ahead and test them and you can see by bringing our test leads together on the display here, it reads 0 0.0. And that's showing a perfect connection. So my test leads and my battery are good, okay? So now we'll go over into the circuit breaker box. And we'll identify the breaker that has tripped. And here it is here. You can see that the handle is in the middle position. And I'll go ahead and I'll take one end of one of my test leads. It doesn't matter, the red or the black and I'll place it there on the uh, output of the circuit breaker and I'll take the other test lead and I'll put it onto the uh, terminal strip where all the grounds and the neutrals are and you can see on my meter that it hasn't done anything it's not generating any tones or any numbers so here I feel fully confident that there's no shorts on the circuit and it would be safe to reset the circuit breaker. So how do we reset the circuit breaker? We can see that the circuit breaker handle is in the middle position. If we just put it to the on position, nothing happens. It's not that the breaker is faulty or broken. That's just the way it's designed to work. What you need to do is take the circuit breaker handle, switch it all the way to the off position like that, and then restore power by turning the circuit breaker on. And the, you can see here that the circuit breaker has uh, stayed on. It hasn't shut off. And you should have full power into the house to that circuit. So let's go ahead and just confirm with our multimeter. And we'll set it up to read voltage. And I'll go ahead and we'll test the output of the circuit and see what our voltage reading is. So yeah, full. Cool. We have full voltage, 123.6 volts, and uh, power has now been safely restored back into the home. So before resetting a circuit breaker, it's always wise uh, to test the circuit for any shorts, because if there was a short on that circuit and we did restore power, it would just cause like a mini explosion, sparks would be flying and maybe a disaster to follow. So always make sure the circuit breaker is clear of any shorts before set, before resetting the circuit breaker, okay? And uh, hopefully by watching this video, uh, you've learned something today here in my training room. And most of all, uh, you know, we're keeping your home safe and keeping your family safe. So once again, thank you so much for spending time with me today in my training room and watching my videos. Hopefully I saved you some time and some money and kept your home safe. That's our goal here at Safeway Electric and Solar Call.